All right, uh, let's make some guacamole. Um, I have these limes. They were going kind of on the way out. So I'm gonna microwave these, give them a little bit of roll so they'll get whatever's left out of them. Um, have my mulca uh Probably wanna rub some rice in it if you haven't already. Do it outside or else it'll be super, super messy. Um, just an heirloom tomato and some garlic. Um, so let's get started. Microwave. Probably, I don't know, 15 seconds. Um, if I'm feeling spicy, I'll put some mojito lime seasoning in it, which is mainly chili powder. Oh, there's red bell pepper. A couple other things. Mm, not quite soft to the touch, so another 12 seconds. And I'll get my juice thing somewhere. Or I'll do it the old fashioned way. That's a little better. Not too hot. Um, probably want to go ahead and do garlic first. Um, I like things pretty garlicky, so I'll probably do, I don't know, six cloves. Not drop any on the ground. And it's important to kind of smash these up a little bit because they will release all those oils that you really want from garlic. If you slice it, you won't get that effect. So just crushing it up here a bit, starting to move it around. The Multicahatai pestle is real nice and heavy, so you can smash pretty hard. Okay. Smelling pretty good. Do my avocados. Not the biggest avocados, but they look pretty good. Our compost is full, otherwise I would throw those in there. Another one, little tiny guy. Wow, that is small. So not a huge yield here, but it's enough for a snack. This one feels a little tougher. There we go. So I'll just I'll use a fun tool. And just scoop these out of here. There we go. I think we'll fill this up pretty good. This one's definitely tougher. Do the rest of these. I'm also gonna add a shallot because I don't usually like to mess too much with my guacamole, but I do think a shallot adds a nice little tanginess to it. Fight a little bit with these guys. Oh yeah. Filling, filling up, I don't, all right, I think these tiny guys, this tiny, doesn't need this tool anymore. Just squeeze that one in. 
That might have been easier the whole time. One, two. Yeah, we're gonna get up to the brim here, I think. Okay, quick wash of the hands. And then I have some tomatoes from Farmer's Market, which are beautiful. I don't know if an heirloom tomato is the best choice for this, but they're really pretty and I got them, so got to make sure I use them. Not too much. I have a couple of slices here already. Maybe a rough chop. That'll do. So we'll incorporate this a bit. Just kind of moving in from the outsides in. We'll kind of have probably too much at the end of this. That looks good. Kind of keep folding it into the center. I'll end up with some big kind of chunks of garlic, but I actually kind of like it that way. Get more of the flavor a little bit. And a quick wash of the hands. We'll go ahead and do our salt. So, big flake salt. There we go. We'll take basically salt to taste at the end of this, but I get a couple things in now. A little bit of pepper. Do our shallot. This is already a small shallot, but I don't think we need too much, really. There we go. Let's get the outer shell off. You want to peel the top part off, too, if you want to do a fine dice. So, we'll do it onion style. Some juice coming out of those. Probably do. Probably do two of these. And then combine and taste. There we go. That's nice. it too much so I want some of that chip ability it's real good real garlicky might be good on lime may have nuked too many limes I think it's pretty punchy. There's a lot of garlic in there, but I think I'm gonna add a little bit of this still. So add a little bit of depth. Go ahead and mix that in and then dust some on top. Clean off of our pestle and call it a day. Yeah. 
Got some more of this somewhere. Hiding in this mess. Get every last drop. Because it is good. And their taste. Yeah, I think maybe even a little more salt. And a sprinkling. And there you have it, some mocha hete guacamole. All right, I'm back. I realized I didn't have any chips. Guacamole is really good, so. I'm just gonna make some real quick. I have some flour tortillas. I do a nice, easy, shallow fry on those. If I can find a clean pan, I think this will do. So I'm just going to use peanut oil, pretty, pretty shallow amount, um, that's probably good, heat it up till it shimmers, uh, and then slice tortillas up into I'm gonna do strips. <clears throat> Get a receptacle for those. When they're done. And a spider. If I can remember where it is, there we go, to fish them out. All right, so, where's my knife? Quick wash. All right, let's just do half. even-ish strips. Maybe I'll cut those in half. Yeah, they seem kind of big. These end ones are fine. I'll, still, I'll call it there. Cut these in half. Oils starting to heat up a little bit. Same thing here. One, two, three, four, Waiting for our oil to get hot. I think I'll probably get some of that same seasoning out to dust with these as they come off the fry. So, salt, chili powder. A little bit of citric acid. Lemon flavor is interesting. 
and red bell pepper. Hmm. Pretty good. Alright, are we hot enough yet? Alright, we're getting there. Go ahead and add them. Sort of spread them out. Don't crowd the pan too much. Just want them to get nice and golden brown. Let's see, we probably have... I don't know, we kind of have a lot of batches. We'll puff up a little bit. Be careful when you're frying stuff. Always drop it away from you. Let's see if we have some... Easy utensils for flipping them over. I just use a chopstick. I can find a, a wooden one. There we go. All right, starting to puff a bit. Starting to get a little bit of golden brown here. Real puffy. Poke a hole in that one. You want to pull them off before they get real brown, because they will brown a bit out of the oil as well. So we're probably getting pretty close here. They really go quickly towards the end. All right, I think that's good. Got our spider here. All right, we'll get our next batch in and then we'll dust. It'll probably come down on the heat, I think. You notice that they really started going as soon as we dropped that batch in. Alright, do a quick dust. Yeah, these are growing pretty quick. Probably just on the edge of being too hot the oil. Some of these can come out already. Alright, so I'll do the rest of these and then we'll finish up with a nice toss. Heat off, it's our last batch. See, it makes them nice. Like it, uh, they cut these real thin and fry them up nice on top of noodles or a salad or something like that, too. Okay. So, that'll probably just about do it. Turn my heat off. Wait just a second, start to collect them. Um, and we didn't really fry, you know, anything else in this oil, so you can just let this cool off and reclaim it and reuse it again. Careful touching hot stuff. All right, we're done with our spider. We'll just give these a blast while they're hot so that some of that seasoning sticks on there a bit. And then just a quick twice. Nothing too crazy. Alright. 
There we go. Guacamole with a fresh chip. That's what I was looking for. All right, see you next time.